It is December 1941, and after the successful surprise attack on the American fleet of Pearl Harbor, war has broken out in the Pacific. Our forces must now seize the moment and expand our defensive perimeter. One primary objective lies to the south. The resource-rich Western colonial possessions in Southeast Asia and the Dutch East Indies. Our naval and army forces will capture these possessions and construct a defensive perimeter to ward off any Allied counteroffensive. With any luck, the Allied will to protect these possessions will waver, allowing Japan to negotiate a peace settlement on our terms. The Southern Expeditionary Army Group commences the campaign by sending the 16th Army to attack Borneo. On December 24th, Japanese forces land at Kuching in northern Borneo. From here, we will strike out capturing Singapore, Java, and surrounding Allied territories. A rapid pace will be necessary, and air bases will need to be captured to provide cover for our naval forces in the area. Intelligence has also reported that two British capital ships are operating in the surrounding waters. HMS Prince of Wales and HMS Repulse. In conjunction with landing operations, our forces will search the Java Sea for these capital ships. It is imperative that they are taken out of the fight as quickly as possible to allow free reign of our naval forces in the theater. Two task forces have been formed with the primary goal of landing troops on Singapore. This operation will take time and we will use fast destroyers and cruisers to land troops under the cover of darkness. This will allow our surface ships to withdraw from Allied air cover during the nighttime hours. Task Force S-1 is our heavy hitter, thanks to its contingent of three heavy cruisers, Mogami, Mikuma, and Chikuma. These cruisers will bombard Singapore into submission by night. Task Force S-2 will primarily be tasked with shuttling troops and supply from northern Borneo to Singapore. Non-stop missions from Borneo to Singapore will be required However, if all goes to plan, the so-called Gibraltar of the East will fall. On the night of December 24th, the two task forces set course to the West. Our task force was detected much sooner than anticipated. A submarine was sighted stalking Task Force S-1. The heavy cruisers conducted evasive maneuvers and destroyers are dispatched to sink the sub. Death charges are rolled on the contact, and the sub is reported sunk. Hopefully, the submarine did not get the opportunity to report our position in. Scout planes are scouring the Java Sea for any sign of Prince of Wales and Repulse. At 1500 hours on December 25th, they are sighted. Our heavy hitting task force is redirected to the south to attempt a nighttime engagement. With any luck, our Type 93 Long Lance torpedoes will be able to strike the enemy warships well before we are sighted. No contact has been made with the enemy. Under the cover of darkness, they slipped away. Once morning comes, aircraft will commence their search once more. We got them again. Land-based aircraft are prepped and are now taking off from northern Borneo. A total of nine G3M aircraft laded down with torpedoes are on an interception course with HMS Prince of Wales and Repulse. Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome to episode one of our brand new War on the Sea series playing as the Imperial Japanese Navy in the Dutch East Indies. We have found Prince of Wales and HMS Repulse. We have a group of Nels and Oscars overhead, and we are about to attack. We have a large group of Nels here. They are going to begin dropping down so they can get ready to drop their torpedoes. We are going to primary Prince of Wales as she is the larger threat to our warships, which are closing in on the area. Let's target her. Repulse is in the back here and she's gonna be a little bit harder to get to, but I want to sink one of these ships if at all possible. And it looks like Prince of Wales is going to be the closest target. I do want our Oscars to turn around. 
Yeah, come over this way. I want my Oscars to fly overhead and drag the anti-aircraft fire so our Nels can hopefully engage and get out of there unscathed. We have been tracking this task force for about a day and a half now. We lost contact in the night. I do have a surface task force with three heavy cruisers in the area. I would like to engage at night if at all possible. If we can take out both ships using air power, that would be fantastic. That's what happened in real life, but I'm not sure we are going to be able to do that. Let's adjust, have these Nels come around, and hopefully we can get all torpedoes to land home on the target. We want to make sure we are primarying her. It doesn't look like the British are aware that we are out here just yet. They are not firing, not conducting evasive maneuvers. I don't think they've spotted us. Our Nels are quite far away. Okay, Oscars, let's begin to turn and fly directly overhead now move as quickly as possible and start dragging. I also want my Oscars nice and close in case there are any British aircraft flying overhead. Okay, Nels. It's time. Receive the attack order. All of these groups are going to attack target number two. And this group, go ahead and come in at this angle. I'm sure they are about to conduct evasive maneuvers. There we go, we've been spotted. The task force is opening up. It looks like the destroyers are conducting evasive maneuvers. That is a lot of anti-aircraft fire coming our way. All right, let's hope our Nels can get in close enough to drop their payload and get the heck out of here, rearm, refuel, and come back again. Okay, that is a lot of flak. Come on, there we go, torpedoes away. All right, increase speed, get out of here. All right, that's six torpedoes out. Next formation's coming in. Okay, we lost one, unfortunately, flying out. And there we go, one hit. Two, three, four, five, my goodness, six torpedo hits. I don't think we've had a single dud yet. Seven. Any more? And eight. My goodness. That does not seem very good for poor Prince of Wales here. Fire is broken out on our forward deck and amidships. Guns are engaging. They're engaging the Oscars that are flying overhead. We're going to get the Oscars out of here now. That was a successful attack. We have just received official confirmation here. Prince of Wales is sinking. We have just received official confirmation that she is going down. Our Nels are going to RTB. We will send more Nels out to try to hit Repulse. Here we are on the campaign map and here is the current situation. Prince of Wales was in this location here where these Nels are. We are going to order them to RTB and we are going to mark this position. That is Repulse's last known position and they were heading east last we saw. 
but we're not sure if they are heading that way now. These Oscars, I'm going to have them keep patrolling for the time being. We have a task force up here, Task Force S1. And this task force has a total of 10 ships and three of which are heavy cruisers. We have Mogami, Mikuma, and Chikuma over here. They are going to move down and we'll see if we can engage at night. That would be preferable. In the meantime, though, for up here in the northeast of Malaya at Tarakan, we have launched some more Nels. They do have range to get over here into the Java Sea and maybe engage. And in the meantime, I am not sure if I can launch these Helens with armor piercing bombs. I indeed can. We are going to have them head over this way and try to hit repulse. That is the current plan. We have task force S2 here, which is pretty light. It's just four destroyers and then one light cruiser. They are landing troops at Singapore. We just have a scouting force there, just 580 men and 329 supply. Task Force S1 is also carrying troops and supply. They are going to unload those as soon as possible once we have finished up with the repulse situation. They will also bombard Singapore itself, hopefully whittling down the allied defenses there. We have 15 command points. I do want to get a task force going up here and start landing in Borneo. That is our second plan of action. I want to lock down the Java Sea from the north before landing on Java itself. Palembang is going to be a secondary target. We need to take it as well, but I want to get all of these air bases on Borneo first. Okay, I will keep you all updated. We'll see if we can re-engage Repulse and keep track of them. Hopefully we can spot them here again soon and they don't change course drastically. We will see. Our Helens have found them. Go to tactical. Our air cover had to leave, unfortunately. Okay, ships reported. And it is nice and dark. We'll see if our task force can actually engage here. There she is. Right on cue. Okay, I'm gonna have one formation drop down. We're going to try to bomb from a low altitude here. And then these other formations come in and try to drop your bombs, try to level bomber. Or actually go down to a medium altitude as well. Make sure bomb bay doors are in fact open on these aircraft, this first formation, open bomb bay doors. As you can see, it's getting nice and dark. Our surface task force will have a pretty good chance of engaging. If we are able to engage at night, I do like our odds, especially if we manage to damage repulse here a little bit. Let's come down to, oh, 90, uh, probably above 90 meters. Let's stick to 190, please. Okay, we are starting to take fire. Drop down, down to 100 meters. Here we go, increase speed. Make sure this other formation is targeting. Bomber. Bomb, repulse, there we go. Here we go. Get ready to drop. Bombs away. Come on. There we go, two hits. All right, they're out of there. The AI is gonna bomb the rest. And they got tore up at low altitude there, unfortunately. Okay, bombs missed on one formation. There we go, two more direct hits on Repulse. Helens are getting out of dodge. Good work. She is up in smoke. Those were 800 kilogram armor piercing bombs. And she took how many hits there? One, two, three. Three direct hits. Yeah, she is not looking good. I feel very confident engaging on the surface now. Well, it doesn't look like we will have to engage on the surface unless we want to mop up all these destroyers, but I don't really see that being worth it. 
HMS Repulse is going down. Both ships sunk on December 26, 1942 here. Well, there we have it. HMS Repulse and Prince of Wales have been sunk here. The campaign started a bit later than they were sunk historically, but it is what it is. We have eliminated the major threat here in the Dutch East Indies. Now it is time for us to land our troops. Task Force S1 here is going to redirect. They are going to head up and bombard Singapore and unload their troops. Task Force S2 is moving that way on the 28th, 28th it seems like, they will be able to unload. And up here, I would like to make a task force of relatively cheap vessels. Let's see if I can find a freighter here that will suit our purposes just fine. Eight, nine, Yeah, we'll go with you. How about that? Seven points. Let me remove you. There we go. Okay, one warship, two freighters. Manage cargo. You are going to take some supply. You will take troops and you will take supply. And this task force is going to sneak down to Ballypoppin and unload their troops there. It's going to take some while and some planning, but we will make it work. I'm not sure how many troops they have over here. I can't imagine they have too many. But I'll land here and then also land on Celebes, hopefully taking these ports relatively easily. That is the current plan. Okay, we are off to a great start if we go to our losses. We have lost seven aircraft. A lot of those have been scouts. While we were scouting for Prince of Wales and Repulse, we were intercepted by some buffaloes and such. Enemy losses, though, here. We destroyed an enemy submarine, and then the King George V and Renown, HMS Repulse and Prince of Wales there. Okay, well, we will continue on. I will update you whenever we are unloading our troops on Singapore. Task Force S1 has arrived. Let's unload all of our cargo there. And let's bombard, shore bombardment. Three times. There we go. All right, get out of there and head back to Kuching. Let's check on Singapore. Okay, we have 1,200 troops and wow, just barely a dent. It is going to <laughs> take a lot of men to capture Singapore. That is going to be an ongoing battle, but we will work on it. I Let's see, how many troops do we have? We have 49,000 men here at Kuching, and that should be more than enough. We will siphon troops from there, and then our troops over here at Tarkan, we have 1,500. That should be more than enough to take some of these lesser defended areas. Task Force S1 here is under attack. Twin engine aircraft coming in, taking a lot of anti-aircraft fire as our formation is nice and tightly packed. We will see who they are going for. Come on. There we go. They're just trying to strafe. There we go. Shooting them down. Come on. Good work. Uh, do not hit me. Oh, boy. That was a little close for comfort. We have another formation coming in here. They're trying to strafe the another heavy cruiser. We have damage. Damage report. Okay, just a fire has broken out amidships near the funnel. We are tearing them up, though. I was worried about one of the downed aircraft crashing into my heavy cruiser. That would be catastrophic damage. And just like that. Light cruiser just took a hit from a downed aircraft. Damage report. Okay, surprisingly minor. It must have just landed pretty close to her. Okay, well that's, uh, man, this is an exciting air attack. Come on, take him out. 
who were spotted as they were getting close to home port. Okay, minor damage overall. An exhilarating attack. Task Force S1 is under air attack once again. Formation of aircraft spotted behind us. More twin engine aircraft roaring in here. Coming from the rear. Looks like four, eight, nine, ten aircraft. Here we go. I'll see if they're carrying bombs this time around. That'd probably be smart of them. Anti-aircraft is not yet opening up. Hopefully they start opening up soon. There we go. They're opening fire. Anti-aircraft's blowing up all around them. Hopefully they're not they're not carrying torpedoes, which is good, but looks like they may be coming in to try to bomb us. 25 millimeter guns are opening up. Come on, boys. Nice and close. Okay, they're trying to strafe again. Come on. There we go, taking them out. Two, one left. There we go. Good work. Another formation here. Diving in on one of the destroyers, I believe. Anti-aircraft blowing up all around them. Oh gosh. Explosion on one of our warships. few hits there. Two more coming in. Looks like they may be going for the rear cruiser. Uh, second cruiser in the line. One shot down. I don't think that second one's going to make it out. Oh, maybe she will. Nope, there we go. Got her. Okay, damage control. Let's take a look at you. Okay, just a fire. Small fire amidships. Everyone's okay. We do have aircraft taking off from Malaya to come and provide cap for this task force because they are certainly going to need it. I don't think that is the last formation of aircraft we will see out here. Here's the after action report. The enemy lost 10 aircraft. We've got some minor damage, just some scrapes, nothing too worrisome. Okay, new air, Oscars, yeah, with drop tanks, why not? Come over here. I'm gonna have you patrol over Task Force S1. There we go. Let's go and do that, please, and thank you. And while I'm thinking about it, new air, these Nates. You are going to patrol over Task Force 13. I need to rename it. And I'm gonna have you just do that. Okay, good stuff. Task Force S2 is waiting here outside of detection range of Singapore. They are going to land troops at night. Task Force S1's heading back to rearm and do that. So yeah, that's the current plan. It's just a rinse and repeat operation up here near Singapore. Two aircraft spotted coming in, engaging, putting up a wall of anti-aircraft fire here. One's trying to strafe once again. They keep trying to strafe the heavy cruisers. Okay, one's down, two down. Two more aircraft destroyed, there we go. Blenheims coming over the formation. Looks like they're trying to level bomb. Yep, there we go, crap. That is not going to be good. Come on, Oscars are racing in. Hopefully they're able to do some damage. I need my Oscars to go for the ladder formations. Okay, they hit one of our destroyers. Damage control. All right, start working. She was directly, took a direct hit. Okay, aircraft. Engage that formation. Uh, 
I need you to engage that formation of aircraft. We gotta get the one coming up. Come on, boys. All right, right full rudder, start turning. Evasive maneuvers. There we go, they're tearing them up up there. I see their bombs falling. Left full rudder, come on. Aircraft Blenheim just falling out of the sky here. I think they are not very happy. Considering what has happened to uh, two of their capital ships. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on. It looks like our destroyer has taken the brunt of it. She needs to slow down. Let's do some repairs. And let's have uh, Chikuma not, I repeat, not ram you. Left full rudder, I think you're going to be okay. All right, there we go. Rudder amidships. All right, move out of the way. I think you're going to be just fine. You have some fires that we got to work on. We should be able to take care of those, though. Let's see. Oscars are pursuing. Damage is more or less under control. We are clear to leave the engagement area. There we go. We had a total of 10 aircraft. None were lost. The enemy lost 13 aircraft. So overall, very good for us. I'm going to have those aircraft continue to provide cap over Task Force S1. We are unloading more cargo at Singapore. And you know what? Let's bombard two more times. Wow, there we go. And there is no more airfield or port there, which um, is not great for us, but I do want to capture it and we can rebuild it up later. We have 1,600 troops there and 1,400 supply. Task Force 13 is moving in to unload their troops and supply now. And hmm, now I'm wondering if we should start landing over here a little bit as well. I probably will actually do that. That does seem like a good idea. I am curious how many men are here? How many enemy combatants? Uh, Cause that is a level three airfield. We'll see, we'll see how that works out. Okay, this task force is moving away. That one's moving up. I may have task force S1 land some troops over here in Borneo next up. Because I do want to take as much territory as quickly as possible. The problem with this task force, it is going to be tricky. It's it's quite slow. Because uh, it has a couple of freighters. We may lose these freighters. Let's see. Unload cargo. Close enough. There we go. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> we have more than enough. Okay, get out of there. How long is it going to take you to leave? Seven hours. Oof. They are going to get caught on the surface so unfortunately I don't think these Nates over here at Tarakan have the range to get down here so you know what these uh these ships may be disposable that's okay we're definitely taking this unless the allies manage to land more troops I don't think they have the resources to do that though the moment of truth our task force is moving away. We have Nate's moving down. This is like the maximum of their range. Yeah, see, they already have to RTB. I have some Oscars heading this way with drop tanks. This is the extent of their range as well. Come on. But if we take this, that's a level three airfield. Okay, they're over. I No allied response. Um, patrol over them. Let's stay over there until they get out. Fantastic. Wow, that was insanely lucky. Keep heading north. Maybe we'll land here next. That's a level three airfield. We'll see. I think, I mean, the problem is that airfield's kind of out of the way. Maybe I'll take McCaskar here and land there next because we still have 1,500 men here and 1,543 supply. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. 
If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel, especially on the first episode of a brand new series. I must say, it does feel good to be back in War on the Sea, and I'm excited to see how this series pans out. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching, and I will see you all on the next one.